everybody, Thomas here, Foggy Brains, and this is going to be on the very first camera I was using to film these videos. This is an old iPod from way back, generations ago. Look at the pretty lights. And more pretty lights. I need more lights, by the way, for Christmas. I'm filming there because I've started to put a chin on this summer. I actually gained weight this summer. I was trying to lose it, but I gained it. Ooh. So I'm going to be working on that eventually here, too. But um, is there any cats to say hi? Look, my Tracy. My Tracy. So, uh, this is uh, filmed on the first camera. The battery's probably going to die in any time. It only lasts, like, a couple minutes of that, even filming. Uh, it was an old iPod Touch. That's what I was doing my very first videos on when I took it, started Foggy Brains. We're four years in now. Uh, I'm going to do a live stream about this again here eventually. But right now, I'm just going to show the different cameras I, um, I recorded with. And this is me filming on the first one. You'll see that in a bit. Uh, but let's move on to the next camera. All right, so I don't know if this is in focus or not. I can't see. The screen doesn't flip to look at, so I can't see the screen as it's filming. This is on the second camera. This is my Canon uh, T3. Not a T3i, but it was still given to me. It's a T3. Uh, it was a present. Uh, and uh, as a photographer, personal love photography, and as uh, also good recording. I can do 1080 videos on this. Sadly, the audio is not the best on this one, but hey, it's an, it was the next step up. And then what did I move to? Let's check that out. All right, so the next camera I got to use is this one. This is an iPod. This is the most current iPod Touch one they have. There's talk about releasing another one, but um, uh, I bet she wanted to do these type of videos as well, where I could do the vertical, um, because vertical is popular. Everybody do vertical, and whatever. I don't mind doing some of them. I actually do some of the Snapchats like this because they're fun. Um, and uh, this battery life is a lot better than the other one. This is the most 6th gen, I think it was, iPod Touch. Uh, plus, I needed something, a music player, because if you know me, you don't, you see me in public, you will see me with my head, headphones. Yeah, I invested in these when I was working my Audio Technicas, but I'm always with my headphones. I'm never without music. So then came on this one, and then, um, remember, I paid for all this out of my taxes and when I was working at the time. So I invested in this channel. It's four years going now. So, and let's move on to the new, last camera, the most current I have right now, which is this camera. Uh, this is my Canon, um, or this is not the Canon, this is my Sony Handycam. So, uh, let me find out the model number here, I got it right here, bear with me for a sec. I'm gonna take glasses off, drop them on the floor. See, that is the camera there, the one that I'm at now, it's the Sony HD ABH Progressive um, Handycam. I noticed a little bit of wear and tear on it because it does get used often. Uh, invested in this cheap little one. This is not a bad one. It's not the Gorilla tri Tripods. It's still not cheap. It's not a dollar store, but it was Walmart, so it was the mid-range mid one. Uh, but that's the one I use now. Uh, I was using this. Video, Picture-wise, I think this might even be better, but audio, it's not the best. It really isn't. Um, and it's a little bulkier than that. I'm going to have you. I can do 1080 on that as I can on that as well. I'm not worried about 4K right now. I mean, the stuff I didn't do is more for visual, more for the content per se. Um, that's the T3 there. So, and the mid one, while I'm using two film, uh, the iPod, what are you guys, I'm going to get your nails cut, don't I? Uh, there's the iPod Touch, the very first one I used. That was when it all started. Foggy Brain started with this. So... That's a case that came with it. I kept it because it protected I drew God knows I dropped it a lot. And uh, this thing, is, like I said, it is, I use it as a backup now just for, like, uh, music and what have you. That's what I'm current, currently using. Uh, and that's the one I recorded on just recently with the rest of that stuff. So this is the iPod Touch. Uh, current one I'm using. If you see me on public, you see me with this in my pocket or what have you. Yes, I... I have another plastic casing on it. I also got the, uh, I drop stuff a lot into, it's good to double case it. Trust me on that. See, that's it regularly. It, uh, there we go. That's the iPod Touch there. It's an iPod Touch, not an iPhone. I can't afford phones, no. I, I got that a few years ago. Um, so there's the one iPod Touch, there's the other one. Here, let's see what they look like side to side without their cases. Give me a sec here. And again, this is the one I'm filming on the Handycam. This is the one I use now. Now, uh, this is a little easier to carry around than the T3. The audio is about this, a little bit better. Uh, eventually, I want to get an uh, uh, upgrade here. There they are here, by the way. The original iPod does. There's a difference in size. But uh, like I said, I bought that from a friend for 50 bucks uh, back years ago. The iPod Touch there, that's a 8 gig. So, um, 
then she got an iPhone, so she sold that to me. And then that's where Foggy Brain started on this, here. Uh, like I said, it was four years ago it started. So, and then I keep the case on it. It's pretty much just a, a music player now. Uh, I keep it hooked up to a pair of speakers in my living room when I'm going to sleep. I mostly play audio sounds, like uh, stuff. <laughs> that's why I still use that occasionally. Uh, maybe doing vertical video, Snapchat, stuff like that. I will do... Uh, or horizontal, vertical, whatever you want to call, you know, vertical. I do horizontal stuff on Snapchat, but I don't do much. I haven't used this as video. I've been mostly using this for photography. Oh, I touched the lens. Ooh, i got to clean that lens anyway. I took pictures today of a church that's getting torn down. So, uh, so that's the one I use. Uh, that's my, But I also use it for photography now, and I use this for video. So, uh, so the Canon gets used mostly for photography now. But eventually I want to get a Canon... 80D. Then you can get an. You can film in uh, 1080, and uh, you can also. I'm not worried about 4K right at the moment. You can film in 1080, and you can also put a Rode mic on top. External mics are always the best to have. None of my audio is the best. Um, that's why for my gameplays and stuff, I actually purchased this uh, with my taxes as well to to when I do gaming because that's one of the best. It's called the mod mic. It's uh, you know you can go either both sides or just singular, you can, and it's one of the best. Now it fits on any headset. And uh, no offense, but the PlayStation headset wasn't the best. That's the cameras I use. This is a short video. I'm actually going to do a live one here in a sec. I'm going to edit this and, um, you know, hopefully next. I've made investments in this thing. What I've done over the years, I've invested close to about two, $3,000 of my own money. And that's not a lot, but considering it's my personal money while I was working at a call center, while I had taxes given to me, um, most all my extra money went on purchasing this. I upgraded my computer. I had to get a, an SSD because editing videos was really long, and I just needed to speed up the process. It did a little bit, but I upgraded. I have to upgrade my uh, entire computer eventually here. I, the RAM was fairly good. I need more RAM eventually, though. I want to upgrade it to a better uh, graphics card, a 1060, and M it was an MSI GTX 1060, 6 gig. Uh, my, I, without having to upgrade my power source, that would cost more too. So I try to do the best I can. I can run on the power source I have with that card, my buddy said, and I looked it up. Yep, that would run. So that's going to be my next purchase for my computer upgrade. That'll help a little bit in the editing process as well. Uh, also, for you know, like I said, uh, I'm starting to do music again on my PC, not my Mac. My Mac pretty much doesn't do much of anything. It's like 10 years old. And we know computers now. It's too old, even though years ago a television lasted 40, 50 years. But anyway, um, so, yeah, next I do get to get a 1060 uh, graphics card. They're about 200-something now. Again, I'm kind of in between jobs right now. I took the summer to try to find something in the creative field, but nothing, and not in St. John. I thought about leaving, but... You know, my nephew just moved back. I want to be here for him growing up, so that's kind of the reason I want to stay. Uh, I believe there is an underground creative network in St. John. I just need to get my foothold. I got to be on one movie set this summer. Um, that was fun. I met some really good people. I'm hoping to be able to work with them again uh, on my own films. I got some ideas in writing. Uh, but I'm also looking into generally be a cinematographer. I'm working with cameras. I love cameras. I like, as you can see there, I just I think I'm good at... You know, I have a vision and I have thing. And uh, one of the people I interviewed for a job one time, they said you got to be specifically good at one thing. Maybe being behind the camera is my top thing. I'll still always do my own thing. I'll have the channel, and uh, I'll do other videos and stuff, and have my own stuff on the side. I'm planning on doing a commercial here soon, and uh, what have you. But maybe I could be a cinematographer, working behind the camera, framing shots, creating shots up down, knowing lighting, knowing, make sure you're going to, you have enough daylight, oh, okay, hurry up, we get this done, or, you know, oh, that angle doesn't look too good, there's too much sun there, or too much, it's just, just, I have a weird mind, and I think I could really do that, with a lot of training, of course, I'd like to get my, maybe, I wish it was some classes in town, I'm not sure, I don't really want to leave St. John anymore, I'm getting a little older, and I'm on, I want to settle down, I'd like to get a house, and all that jazz, and stuff, you get to the point now, in my 20s, I traveled Canada, I lived in every major city in this Canada. Besides maybe Vancouver, I visit Vancouver for like a month almost, uh, two, two to three weeks. But Montreal, Calgary, Toronto, live there all. Uh, visit Halifax. I've never been to Nova Scotia, or no, Newfoundland or PEI. Two provinces I've yet to be. So that's on my list of things I want to do. But um, yeah, these are the cameras I have used. Now there might have been small odds and end cameras I did occasionally throw out there. But most of the videos were done on all these, the one I'm filming on now, and then of course the Canon. So, almost anything you see on Foggy Brains is done, graduated from this to what I'm watching on now. 
So I'm actually noticing I'm a little high. I'm like I'm thinking, hey, usually I like to have my head more, my whole frame. But whatever, you know, it's I'm learning how to frame shots better. Uh, this is just for you guys. This is the cameras and what Thomas has done for Foggy Brains. I've had other people help me throughout the years. People come and go. Um, I like to bring more people in so for some help. It is a lot of work, trust me. And if people think I wanted to be an online content creator, I'd like to make money and then eventually span off to doing my own films and not have to worry about grants or loans or whatever. People think being an online content creator is easy. BS. It's the hardest thing. I've done so many different jobs over the years, from working at the Coast Guard to call centers to security to uh, cleaner. Uh, I cleaned a dance bar, strip bars at night. I mean, you know, talk about cleaning the most disgusting things you've ever seen. And, you know, I've done it all types of jobs. I've been a teacher at a school. I mean, being a content creator is really hard because you've got to manage your websites, which is, I manage uh, the YouTube, which was the original, which I. You know, we haven't grown in the last while. I'm going to talk about that in my live video here in a bit. Uh, but we have the YouTube. We have the Twitter, which is the midpoint. Uh, it's not really important, but it's still good to advertise on Twitter for everything else. We have the Instagram. It's mostly pictures. I try to create memes, uh, but I, I advertise sometimes for some of the videos upcoming. Uh, then we introduced CocoScope, which is another uncensored video channel. I can all, uh, Since a lot of the stuff is 420 friendly, I do some of the less stuff there because I know YouTube has very heavy censorship rules. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm not going to cut that out because I, I want to keep this live and raw. This is not live, live, but still, sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, I also, I put a MySpace up. That was a joke. I just altered MySpace for Foggy Brands. I also have the Facebook, which is the center point of the gaming side of what I do. I'm a gamer as all well, so I incorporate. It actually, I'll be honest, uh, mostly this summer is just gaming for the most part. I did occasional uh, 420 food videos. But I, I, I've kind of been just questioning what I want to do with the channel from here on out. But I'm going to talk about that more on the live section. Uh, but yeah, I upgraded computers, bought stands. I bought a mic. I had to return it. Money. I needed the money to survive. That's when I got let go. Um, I actually bought the mic with my tax money. Got let go. I had to sell it back. It was 200 some bucks I needed. So boom. Sold it back. Used it. Survived. I, I have a... Um, I'm not going to reach it. It's over here. It's a snowball mic. It's still a good mic. It's not the mic I need because I want to do interviews. I would like to put that in the middle of the table. One person on one side, one on the other, blah, blah, blah. It's called the Yeti mic. It's one of the better ones for doing online podcasting things as such. Again, I got the Snowball mic. It's good for just uniform one person talking and what have you. But, uh, and again, all the cameras I bought over the years with uh, just tax money and, you know, earning money as I was working. You live alone. It's not easy. I'm not saying poor pity, poor me. No, I survive on my own. I have. I live by myself. I pay my... My, my bills, I pay my own stuff. I'm, you know, I'm never late in my rent or my bills. Everything's always ahead of schedule. Uh, I actually pay a little bit extra on my phone bill a lot of time. That way, if you ever have a month where you're having a hard time, yeah, you can bounce on it a little bit. So, and you're not behind. Little trick of the trade, people, who's struggling. So there's always, I, I survive, you know. I mean, food can get hard on time. Life can get hard on That's life. That's what you got to do. I someday would like to be financially stable where I can support myself, my family, and people around me. My friends will benefit too. Everybody's going to benefit. If I'm worth millions, not saying it would make millions, but if I'm worth millions, everybody's benefiting around me. After I get my house and my family secure, people are going to benefit. Actually, I, I said to myself, I was walking home, um, I wanted the 25 mil. I tell you, one thing I would do immediately, $1 million would be put onto a fund towards local content creators and filmmakers. And every month we pick maybe $10,000 goes to you. 10000 goes to you. And that could last, you know, or maybe every, a couple times a year, not maybe every month. That would run out fast. But we would don't, you know, so many people a year would get 10000 to, you create a film or you create this or you do this to do with your film career. And because I know how it's like to struggle. And I'd like to help back to the community. I want That's another reason I want to say New Brunswick. I'd like to help the New Brunswick community. If I can make millions, people are going to benefit in here. Because like I said, I would take a million dollars, let alone it'll be a fund for local artists, local filmmakers. You each get 10000 10000 I'd say 10000 each because that way it would spread it out long and it could last many a years. And believe me, 10000 would be great for me. I could upgrade my computer. I could get a new computer. It'd be great for editing. I could get a top-of-the-line camera. The creations kit is called with the T, uh, the... Uh, with the ADD, with the road mic, and a good stand, a gorilla stand, and uh, I could probably get a few other things. Sadly, being a filmmaker is a, you know, as you can tell, I can do it on anything. You really can. But if you want quality to compete with quality and to start making money, you want your product to look quality, too. That's a given. I mean, you know, you can do a basic video, which you're going to see the gradients of the differences here. There's a difference. 
So at least I notice it anyway. But, um, yeah. So, as I said, though, the video game stuff I did just to keep an algorithm going on the channel. It at least keeps it existing. But um, I haven't done much this summer. But, again, I'm going to talk about more of that in a bit. But, yeah, that's... Uh... Oh, excuse me, bud. Ah, children. I love them. I wouldn't trade them for the world sometimes. No, I love my cats. They're my life. They're my life. So here we go there. And then, of course, the one I'm recording on here. And again, I've had uh, some miscellaneous cameras here and there and what have you. So, but they're the main ones that I've built my career on. And, uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's see the future where this goes. Again, I'm going to talk about more of that in a live stream here in a bit. Because uh, I don't want to give up on this. I believe I'm doing something. Yes, I'm stagnant for the last year, couple of years. Um, i got to recreate. Maybe I'll come up with some skits. We'll wait and see. But again, that's the equipment. Eventually, you're going to have more equipment, better equipment. I'd love to get the RED. Everybody knows of anybody filmmaking LED. That's a 4K camera. Even though now they're into 8K. Believe it or not, 8K exists now. That's too much for me. No, mo people aren't going to have 8K televisions for at least 10 years now. So I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, 8K does exist now. And they're get it's getting to the point we don't need it. it. The eye can't even pick that up. You'll notice a difference. But eventually, it's going to be where the it's not needed anymore. It is. And it's really getting a little out of hand in mind. It's just a reason to charge more money for products. But 4K is cool. But there's a difference between 1080 and 4K. But 8K, now you're just getting to where the eye can't even notice a difference. So then once it gets to that point and you're charging that, I don't, you know. 1080 is fine for now for what I do. Uh, 1080 is still amazing picture quality. If you don't think so, then you're, you know, whatever. So, and I'm in a, a video file. I'd like to have good quality, but I'd like to do 4K, but you need a massive hard drive for the files and everything, and it's just a mess. So, and plus, a RED camera is close to $100,000 when you get all the stuff added on and everything. And uh, watch Linus Tech Tips. I watched theirs, and they bought the RED just to have it. I don't really need it. YouTube can't film 4K. I mean, you can, but it's no use to it. So, um, the 10 a the ADD is good for me for now. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a pro camera eventually down the road and some lighting setups and a studio. But, again, that's in a basement when I get a house and uh, set up a studio, my games room, blah, blah, blah. It's going to happen. It just uh, might be older now. I was hoping I'd get this reach this area when I was 35. Now I'm in my mid-40s, so... Still, but I'm not giving up. I don't care how old. I can be 60 years old and still struggling. I'm still going to do this because I believe I'm, I love doing this too. And I like doing this for you guys. So, all right. Uh, I'm going to cut this. See, you notice I talk a lot. ADHD. Ching. All right. I do love you guys. Peace. Hitting the button.